Welcome to Africa channel. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to help us. There's a corner at Vallelunga, the 2.54 mile racetrack just north of Rome, that will tell you everything you need to know about the 2024 Lamborghini Revuelto. Vallelunga's Curva Grand is a fast right-hander with a sharp compression on the apex that, with one of Lamborghini's hot shoe development drivers leading the way, you take heart in fifth gear. In any one of Lamborghini's previous mid-engine V12s it would be a hard and mouth white-knuckle ride. But the Revuelto simply turns in, grips, and grunts, shrugging off the little hop-skip on the apex of the flat-out left-hand kink immediately afterwards as it storms towards the 90-degree right at the back of the circuit at 160 miles per hour. Barely raising a sweat, the Revuelto is almost 20 miles per hour faster through the Curva Grand than the lighter, edgier Huracan STO, until now Lamborghini's ultimate road-going track rat. And as the lap progresses, it's clear the Revuelto has none of the devilishness of a Diablo, the menace of a Murcielago, the angst of an Aventador. There's no hint that the 6.5-liter naturally aspirated V12 bellowing at your shoulder blades wants to elbow past you, no suggestion the front tires are about to cry uncle, no worry that the brakes will catch fire. Our session with the Revuelto was confined to Vallelunga's technical twists and turns and fast straights with the powertrain and chassis set to their most extreme modes, so we can't tell you whether it's comfortable in the traffic noisy on the freeway, or easy to park. And frankly, we're not sure any of that matters much. Sure, the sat-nav works, as does the air conditioning, and it has adaptive cruise control with the full suite of driver aids including lane keep assist. There's an inch more headroom than in the Aventador and 3.3 inches more legroom, and Lamborghini says you can fit a golf bag behind the seats. But none of those things are what make this Lamborghini special. What makes the Revuelto special is what it does when it's driven flat out, and how it does it. In terms of the accessibility of its searing performance, the composure of its chassis under pressure, and the way it inspires total confidence behind the wheel, this is the best Lamborghini we have ever driven, a benchmark car from San Agata Bolognese. Oh, and did we mention it's a plug-in hybrid that also has three electric motors that boost total power and torque to 1,001 horsepower and 739 pounds to foot, more than any Lamborghini in history, yet is 35% more efficient than the car it replaces? As you can read here, the Revuelto is the most technically advanced Lamborghini ever built. 12-cylinder Lamborghinis have in the past been about brute force bashing the laws of physics. This car combines brute force with an electronic brain that's constantly having a nuanced discussion with Isaac Newton. The Revuelto is the software-defined supercar, but with software that thinks like an enthusiast driver. Like David Bitsari, to be precise. David Bitsari is Lamborghini's head of vehicle motion and energy management which means he's responsible for the way Lamborghinis accelerate, stop, and go around corners. His supercar credentials are impeccable. He was inspired to become an automotive engineer by the legendary Nicola Materazzi, who helped develop the Bugatti EB110 and created the F40. Bitsari worked as an engine designer at Ferrari before becoming head of powertrain engineering at McLaren. He joined Lamborghini in 2019. Bitsari is an engineer with strong beliefs. He hates the current vogue for artificial pops and bangs from the exhaust, which is why you won't hear them emanating from the Revuelto. He insists on steering feel that is consistent, regardless of the powertrain mode selected, which is why the Revuelto's helm will remain light and delicate, whether you're tooling through Beverly Hills or attacking the Norstschleife with your hair on fire and those 1001 ponies stampeding behind you. And he believes in the sanctity of the combustion chamber. A case in point is the Revuelto's innovative traction control system, which uses the single 148 horsepower, 111 pounds to foot E motor that sits atop, and is connected to the 8 speed dual clutch transmission mounted transversely at the rear of the V12. If a loss of traction is detected, the E motor instantly switches to Regan, increasing the torque load through the transmission to stop the wheel spinning. The internal combustion engine is very powerful, but when you want to regulate torque, to control wheel spin, with fast interventions of spark advance or cutting cylinders, it is not so precise, Bitsari explains. The E-machine has the capability to control torque at a really fast rate, and to be really precise. But the other benefit is that by not cutting the engine, I can keep its efficiency high. A third benefit, energy that would have otherwise gone up in a cloud of tire smoke is sent back to the battery. This dizzying dance between combustion and electrons, dynamics and efficiency, is also played out by the pair of 148 horsepower, 258 pounds to foot Yasa axial flux E motors that power the front wheels. When you lift your foot off the brake at idle and the Lambo creeps forward, they're moving the car, not the V12, which is kept at its most efficient idle speed. 
When you're hammering the Revuelto through a series of turns, the ultra-precise torque control of the Yasas, combined with their ability to switch between power and regen independently and instantaneously to vector the torque across the front axle, is used to efficiently transform longitudinal acceleration into lateral acceleration, and back again. The target was to make the car authentic, Beatsari says. I always considered electrification a way to make the car better, but the important thing was to make the car feel natural. Mission accomplished. Unless you're driving the Revuelto in pure EV mode, you're never aware it has electric motors, never aware of their complex interactions with the internal combustion engine or the chassis, regardless of whether you're accelerating, braking, or cornering. All you know is this is a V12 Lamborghini that does all those things with remarkable speed and fluency. From the driver's seat it feels effortlessly natural. The massive carbon ceramic brakes, the front rotors measure 16.1 inches in diameter and are clamped by 10 piston calipers, are brake by wire and have a completely different feel than those of the wayward Aventador, the pedal firm and high, the brake effort modulated by pressure rather than travel. In Corsa mode the initial tip in is somewhat sudden at low speeds, the brakes are always mechanically actuated with the E motors providing additional regenerative braking. Out on the track, though, they feel utterly unquenchable, repeatedly hauling the Revuelto down from triple digit speeds with insouciant ease. The front axle torque vectoring and rear wheel steering and the car's ability to tap the brakes on a wheel-by-wheel -wheel basis means you can trail brake deep into corners without the big Lambo's rear end feeling squirrely. The light weighting of the electronic power steering ensures accuracy on turn in, and the feel is utterly uncorrupted by the ceaseless shuffling of power and torque across the front axle. All you notice is the front end goes exactly where you want it to go. Torque vectored all-wheel drive means you can go to throttle early on corner exits feeling the rear tires nibbling right at the edges of adhesion as the Revuelto hunkers down and slingshots down the straight. And though that 814 horsepower, 535 pounds to foot V12 thrills as screams to its 9,250 revolutions per minute power peak, the dual clutch 8 speed snapping off the upshifts with a refined crispness the brutal single clutch transmission in the Aventador could never manage, it all happens with a preternatural calmness. It's only when you arrive at the next braking point far quicker than expected that you realize that the Revuelto is hyperfast, not scary fast. Of course, the laws of physics are immutable. Make an egregious mistake and not even the specially developed Bridgestone Potenza tires, 265-35ZR20s up front and massive 345-30ZR21s at the rear, will generate enough mechanical grip to keep the car on the track. But the Lamborghini Dynamica Vehicolo 2.0 Vehicle Dynamic Control System developed by David Bitsari and his team, the electronic brain that melds the ice and the e-motors and the transmission and the by-wire braking and the four-wheel steering and the semi-active multi-link suspension and the active aero into a single homogenous entity, allows you explore the edge of the car's staggering performance envelope with complete confidence. The Revuelto has yet to hit the road, final homologation is still being completed, but already it's a home run with the first two years of production already sold out. You'll need that long to figure out which of the 400 available exterior colors you want to match with the 70 interior color options, and whether you want extras like the optional 21-inch front and 22-inch rear wheels and tires. We can't wait to get back behind the wheel of the Revuelto. We want to know how it drives on pure electric power in Cheetah mode, where the maximum output of the e-motors is limited to 180 horsepower, and the suspension, traction control and transmission set to deliver maximum comfort. We want to try Strata mode, designed for everyday driving and long trips, with the hybrid powertrain dialed back to a mere 874 horsepower. And we want to see how much fun we can have the 895 horsepower sport mode, which allows more corner exit oversteer. But most of all, we want to switch everything to the max and once more drive this Lamborghini as hard and fast as we can, launching it to 60 miles per hour in less than 2.5 seconds and ripping through the gears, listening to that heroic V12 sing its defiant song. In recent years the conventional wisdom has been that the days of the big banger Lambo with a naturally aspirated V12 engine are numbered. The Revuelto lifts a 1001 horsepower, 217 miles per hour middle finger at conventional wisdom. We have come to the end of the video. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel to help us.